So you hear that right there? Here, listen, listen. Listen. You hear that? Watch. in the patient's mouth and then we make the characteristics and the dental setting and to make it a little bit thin which is patient desire and also it's lowers is flex partial which is two totally different materials this is the injectable materials injection okay so we add with those and we can finish them up the later and then here is the before patient has this so we're going to put the that area case soon.
this is a previous patient had the teeth. I'm talking about lower teeth. They extracted after healing. This is the final flex partia fabricated, which is patient just like like that. Okay, so we're going to try in the patient's mouth just like this. Okay, so this is for lower cosmetic TCS unbreakable partial cases. Great. send an impression all the way uh, when I send an impression for Luke for a case uh, they they usually take my model and they'll go ahead and take all the borders all the way up to the top you, you always want to have extra and carefully and slowly make your adjustments in office then some labs I've gotten some dentures where they don't give me enough to the to the sulcus to the border and then you're in trouble right so right now what we're doing is that we're simply just adjusting because these are a little high and that's perfectly fine. We take it down slowly until we get the perfect fit. How's up here? Just use to okay, close. Thank you. We give you ten seconds, something later. In the mismo? So almost there. Can you explain? So we're getting closer, right? Just right here. He's uh, feeling a little, little tiny bit on the undercut there. Alright. Right. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit weird, just yeah, 20 30 seconds. One thing alone, mm. so we could wait for 20 30 seconds, have him feel it, and uh, because he's not used to these new shoes for him, it looks aesthetic is great, right? Aesthetic is beautiful, and now we're talking about fitting adaptations and making him more comfortable about the regarding denture. I think he said the steer a little bit over there, right? Steer, okay. 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 It looks amazing. We'll get the fit. Because now the patients used to it. Can they have them smiling? Smile? More? Bigger? Big? Big? Oh, nice. It's beautiful. Look at that. It's unreal. Ah. Beautiful venture. Wow. Okay. When they're doing this, I tell them to point to the tooth in reference. So they'll put their finger all the way up here and say, I feel down here. And then we go down to the tooth. And I know he just pointed at his canine. So up on the canine, you see this little ridge right here. And that's actually coming in a little high, still in the sulcus. So make a quick adjustment, okay? Now what's the farthest that you can go in terms of turning it down? I, I basically look at the sulcus and when I try the denture in, I can see how much room is up there. This is something that you get over years and years of experience. You know where not to take too much off. Yeah. Right now, the, the, the front is just a little bit too much on him. We make sure not to mess around with the distal borders back here the posterior palatal seal you don't want to mess with that you don't want to do want to want to mess with that uh, right in here so you know i know when it's a little high up here from going in and inspecting the sulcus 
and I make sure that I use a red fine carbide, this guy right here, the red one, okay? Always, I never use blue, green, any other color, anything that's not this, because this is going to not only trim it carefully, not trim too much off at the same time, and it's it almost leaves a nice polish at the end. It makes it much easier for you to polish. And for those who may not know, the sulfur is... The very top, the top border. If you stick your finger in and you go all the way around the top, that's what... That's what you would adjust. Less bulky. He's able to put it right in. Mm -hmm. sí, ya no se atrás. Now he feels it's nice and balanced all the way to the front. Cuando le, le masticaba, como yeah. que se levantaba, it was jumping around because there wasn't enough room. And we may even have to adjust it more. Usually I tell patients it's like three to four visits after. And we still have to do some minor adjustments, some small appointments. So mm -hmm. they get used to it. Sometimes they'll come in and they'll say a corner of it, it's a little thing, you remove that and then they'll come back and say that it's another little corner, but you eventually get used to it. It takes two to three visits okay. at least. Um, some patients that I see usually come in sometimes sometimes with an okay. old venture. Okay. Okay. See? Now, right here. Okay. Yeah. And it gets to the point, too, where the patient actually starts to kind of let you know exactly where it is. So he's, he's saying this little border on the inside just needs a little just fine mm -hmm. contouring right in here. And um, you go through that and, you know, it, it you should never have to use any glue, any fix it. And if you're using that, it's either time for a reline or time for a new denture. Um, so just remember that some patients will say, oh, can I just use glue? I said, no. No, never. You're not. You're, you're, that's not supposed to be no. for a new denture, you know. And if they get to the point where it starts to get loose, then you have to go into the dentist and get a reline. Okay, there's a video on a reline that you have. Okay. Yeah. Let's try. Look at that. Looks good. Beautiful, right? Here, let me ask him in Spanish. You recording this? ¿Cómo cómo siente la la el prosthesis de arriba? Bien, ahorita bien. ¿Lo siente bien? Mm -hmm. Bien, bien. Si puede masticar bien, no le, no le sí, afecta al masticar. Ahorita no. Está bien. Okay. No, no me lastima. So I'm asking him in Spanish if how how does he feel as far as when he bites down on those two teeth. We're gonna try the lower flexi in just one second, but I always start with the top with the with the complete and then you move on to the lower one, okay? But he's saying that it feels good. Uh, all of the flanges, uh, the sulcus, everything up here feels nice and comfortable now. Some of the areas that were of concern for him are now have been relieved much better. See, you got it? Okay. So once I, ha once I have the, the borders all correctly adjusted to where the length of these flanges into the sulcus are of the right distance, then that's when I actually come through, I'll hold it right behind it like this, right? And then this, this one we only use to make enough room for the frenum. We go back to the red. like that and that's where you can see this right here I'll bevel it a little bit so it doesn't feel that thick on the patient so right here you bevel it all right so you 
you see the difference? This one's beveled, this one is still thick, right? So then you, you, you can bevel it on top so that the patient feels more natural. But the lip rolling over it feels a lot more natural. And then this will be polished. Got it? Oh, that's awesome. See how it's nice and beveled now? It goes up and then nice and smoothly into the sulcus. See that? Nice. Can you try again, man? My heart. Thank you, my heart. Nice, nice. There we go. That's it. We started, we started with the full denture and now look at where we are. See, look at that. Perfect fit. Now the patient says everything is perfect except just this little tiny area right in here. Just a little bit right here. So again, I use the, the red carbide, right? Just a little bit. Maybe a feeling just a little tiny bit right here. Just in here, just smoothing it out right here. Right there. So we got the entire thing now. See that? Perfection. Absolutely right. cool. stunning. See how it goes right in now? Now he feels comfortable. He said it feels a lot more natural. It's not as thick. It goes into the sulcus just perfectly there and we're just testing the fine movements here you can one of the things you want to make sure is that when the patient comes in for this initial visit you want to get to at least 90 percent to where the patient is comfortable wearing it don't ever let them leave with uh with a denture in pain and say come back and see me like don't you don't want to do that you want to make sure that the the, the next couple visits when the patient comes back that the patient is just asking for minor minor adjustments and this is great for the dentist because they're going to tell their friends that this dentist made them a denture that is needed minimal adjustments this is actually a lower flexi all right eventually if you look at his teeth remember we built up the these teeth really nicely we got rid of the perio disease he had excess tissue it was a very nice surgery very clean and right now his main concern is to just get something there temporarily later he can get a uh, he can get a bridge long spanning bridge he can get some a couple implants here in the middle one a couple implants on the lower right or he can put nice porcelain crowns down here he still has some nice fixed teeth on the bottom. The most important thing with patients always, bottom dentures are very, very, very challenging. So some patients come to me, they're like, why don't you just pull them all out? I said, well, you have no idea what you're getting into if you don't get implants for the bottom. It's always more challenging for the bottom than the top, okay? Just put it in gently, okay? And of course, is a TCS unbreakable fiber flex partial that it's we made here in the lab. Mm -hmm. Thanks to uh, material offered by our friends at TCS Dental. Okay. It's a little tight. That's good, you know? You want to make small adjustments. So we're going to make some small adjustments. We'll get right back to this, okay? Burr, if you're not using that red one again, you're gonna make a mess out of this. And look at how it, how it leaves my TCS, see that? It's almost like polished, see? 
You just have to keep going in one direction. And that direction is towards you. And it peels it off just ever so gently. See that? I bet you there's a lot of dentists out there that actually go in, go in there with something like more rough like this. And they basically end up destroying a flexi partial. It happens a lot. I see, the, I see these come to my office completely butchered. And I realize that the, they did that because they look like that because the, the dentist used the wrong one. I always, you have to just keep this one as part of your armamentarium for removables. This is the way to go. Yeah. Just very little, leaves very little behind for you to clean up. See? That's the difference after adjusting it with this right here. This should be a standard for you to have in the, in the dental practice. Cool? Very clean. Always towards you. And if there's a little area right here like that right there, you just do it towards you. And then it just peels right off, see? Got it? We're at a very close state now where the bottom has been adjusted nicely. You can see that. That's his flexi. So now I ask the patient. Okay, go ahead, close. Tap, tap, tap. There we go. Open. And then we want him to be in contact on every posterior teeth. Look at that. He's in contact in actually every single tooth. Okay, so right now, about pretty much even, very nice. On the bottom, he mm. feels that when he bites down, he's putting yeah. too much pressure on his clasp. And turn over here, this way. He's putting a little bit too much pressure on his clasp. So sometimes when it's too high, I'll check the first, first I'll check the top. And this is pretty consistent, pretty even, very nice. Almost every tooth has a mark. So I'm not gonna alter this. I'm actually gonna go down to his flexi, and you can see here. He's got a spot there that needs to be reduced and another couple little high spots here. So I'm actually gonna go down and adjust the flexi versus adjusting this upper denture, which is pretty nice, okay? Okay, so we adjusted right here. Okay, see that? We also adjusted a little bit on the clear clasp. I, I like to choose clear clasp whenever I'm in the aesthetic zone because you want it to look nice and aesthetic. Patient appreciates that too. They don't want a fake gum color looking here over a tooth that doesn't match, you know? So I usually try to do clear clasp in the front. So we're gonna just check the bite one more time. Okay, yeah. front, uh -huh, close, tap, 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 open, okay. So if we take the upper denture off, let's check the points. Nice. Look at that, consistent contacts here, okay? And then if we look at the bottom one, you can see that he's touching on all of them and you could actually make a fine adjustment right here, but he's already saying that he's pretty comfortable with it, okay? It's good. So you hear that right there? Here, listen, listen. Listen. You hear that? Yeah. Watch. You hear that? That's the sound you want. Okay, here. Here's, here it is again. Ready? This is the sound you're looking for. This is the sound you want. That's the sound you're looking for. Okay? And you want to struggle to get that. And right now, we're done. We've made all the adjustments. Close. 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 See, we made all the adjustments and everything is beautiful. So now he's gonna follow up maybe two visits just to make sure we do some fine adjustments. Open and again, listen.
bit of varnish with um, the company is the here local Illinois Tennessee. Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this one is a mineral oil. Oh, there. Now, it's just, now it's after polishing, we put the finest mineral oil to make the shine, the dentures. So we can finish it both top and bottom. Now it's ready to go. TCS. This. Wow, nice. Alright, yeah. So you can take this. You can take another one. That's good. Okay. Nice. Okay, thank you. Okay, Ricardo. Mañana lo veo en la noche, okay? Okay, está bien.